if we were at school, my activity would have been having them go through these true or false questions, quiz them on how much they know about high blood pressure, and then I would have gotten into it. So I'll just start. Uh, normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. Anything above that is considered high blood pressure or elevated. So if you're an elevated, it's 129 and less than 80 is still on the lower number. And then high blood pressure is 130 to 139 to 80 over 89. And the top number, which is systolic, is the pressure when your heart is beating. And the lower number, which is diastolic, is the pressure when your heart is not beating. And this graph right here shows the for US adults age 20 and older, where the most high, people with high blood pressure are, and it's mostly, mostly in the southern states. And some risk factors of high blood pressure are your uh, weight. If you're extremely heavy, you have a higher chance of getting high blood pressure. Your alcohol consumption, tobacco use, the amount of salt in your diet, and lack of exercise. And stress can also uh, raise blood pressure. And the most uh, susceptible race for high blood pressure is African Americans. And as you age, you're also more likely to get high blood pressure. And over here, we have the impacts of high blood pressure. Um, heart attack and stroke are two of the big ones. And then you can also have, uh, your, it can affect your vision, your memory, and it also can also lead to a certain type of dementia because your uh, the blood vessels in your uh, brain don't receive as much, or the blood vessels uh, thicken and they don't receive as much blood and that can cause dementia. And then you can also get a kidney disease because it can damage and clog inside there. And can also lead to depression and anxiety, so high blood pressure is very important to keep in check. And ways to lower it would be to maintain a balanced diet and exercise regularly, which is also a way to maintain your a healthy weight, which are all things. And for my takeaway, I have two little flyer things on foods, 10 fo foods to avoid with uh, the largest amount of sodium. The other one is just little tips you can do to help reduce your reduce your blood pressure and or maintain it and stay healthy.